Hello everybody and welcome back to Theme Park Coast and a very exciting video on our European road trip as today our fourth park is going to be Tripsdrill and it looks absolutely amazing just in a few of the gates just down there and it's such a nice park of course oh, situated amazing. in Germany and actually amongst all the hills and vineyards yeah. it's got this really nice vibe and engine you think you can probably see right now it's got this really nice sort of local feel about it, but also a really nice charm as well. Nice, so yeah. I'm very glad to experience this park today. These are my sort of favourite parks. I mean, I love Disneyland Paris, I love Europe Park, but this is something unique about it, which is it really is. nice. Yeah, honestly, I've wanted to come to this park now for the last few years, and especially since the open house Ubercoff, which is of course the Vekoma Thrill Suspended Coaster or something like that, um, which of course the new SLC, which is pretty cool. Um, but also we've got Caracho here, which is the Ghost Star Fancy. Which does also look amazing, and I've got to say, them lap bars are incredible as well. Um, but yeah, just seeing the park in general, because it looks like it's a very German-style park, and as you just said, a very local's park, which is of course nice to experience. As much as I love them big parks, such as Europa Park, Fantasyland here in Germany, I do also like to experience these local parks, such as Tripshaw, which would be nice to see. Yeah, exactly. Of course, as I said, there's many rides over here today. Of course, our day is going to be full of all of those as well, so I mean, we're going to explore the area. What time's open today till? So it's open from 9 till 7, I think. So maybe 9 till 6, so yeah. Yeah, so that's going to be really, really awesome. So, mega excited for today. Even little bits like down here in the morning, you're getting some like, nice little pastries and stuff. I mean, it's before so we actually came here into like a little bakery and it had like, all this yeah. lovely bread. So we're kind of breaded out at the moment. But it's nice having kind of, like, this sort of like, traditional, in our eyes, traditional German stuff. Whether it is traditional or whether it's just stereotypical, yeah. we don't know. But it for us, we like though. it anyway. Yeah, it's really nice. And I, I can't see anyone else who's not from Germany here. No, I mean, we just look at all the cars, yeah. they're all like Germans. So. I mean, and then they all look at us because obviously we've got a UK car, yeah. so it's a little bit odd, but again, I love these sort of places and I'm so excited to show you it all today. And here we now are inside of the main park itself. But it's always really nice when I let you into the first area. Because in fact, we did a quick around the shop. And of course, we will be showing you guys in the shop later on in this video. We've got some pretty good merch. For the size of the park it is, you wouldn't expect that sort of merch. And it's not too expensive either. I had a Mars bar was on the way up. And that was the same price in the petrol station. But it actually is over in the shop. And I'm looking around at some stuff right now. I love that jumper. I love jumper. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice jumper, yeah. But of course, we're trying to work out where to go right now. Of course, when you first get into the park, the first hour is so, so important. Whether it's a big park or a small park, the first hour is amazing to maximise your time and get all those rides done. So yeah, the first ride we're going to do? We're going to do Caracho. Which is a... Ghost Star Infinity. And we have oh. actually done one of these before. We've done Hang Time, but not as very far. Which is a little bit of a way from here, of course, over in the United States. But um, that was amazing when we did that in December. One of the best coasters I've ever experienced. And the lap bars were just ridiculous. So I'm so excited to experience this one. And also, the soundtrack for this is incredible as well. Yeah, and I mean, Mum's already loving her time here because we're in for a wine cellar in the shop, which you don't get back at home. You do not. But even here, like a lovely little garden. It's got, that's a really weird road. We did one of those over in Great Yarmouth. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it was something similar. It was exactly the same, but yeah, they're pretty cool. But yeah, they're even like all oh, other animatronics. It has this lovely sort of vibe about this park, which definitely gives me fair some of that vibes over in Denmark. So, heading through it right now, heading towards our first attraction, but first reactions? Oh, honestly, it's a beautiful park. That's the one where I can mainly use this park. Yeah. It's just so well landscaped, everything looks so nice. Um, and yeah, it's just like, I'm, of course, the coast I am looking forward to, but just the general park, because it's really nice, it's very German. And well. I think I was going to say, actually, I was just going to bring it on, you brought it perfectly, actually. When we were going into this park and walking into it, on the map, it's got this like little house on top of a hill. Now, that house is actually part of the park, somewhere else is like a house, whatever. But when you look at the park, it fits into the landscape in here. It's really, really weird. And like, we just went past the staff area back then. The staff area has the same sort of design as the main part of the park because the whole area itself is absolutely lovely. The landscapes are lovely. So it's building a beautiful park in some beautiful landscapes and it works absolutely perfectly, really. It's so nice, honestly. This is definitely gonna be one of my favorite parts of the trip. So far, it's definitely like going quite far somewhere. Yeah, every step we take, it's just another it's, step up. It looks so nice. But of course, as much as we love all the rides, the one thing in Germany we love the most is food. Well, the reason why we had to stop the camera just then was because of nice people over the park went over to us and said, unfortunately, you are not allowed to film without signing a contract first. So that's why we quickly stopped it to go and sign that contract. But basically says that we can from around the park and on the rides, in fact, with a GoPro. But we didn't bring a GoPro today. So unfortunately, I mean, there'll be no on-ride footage for you guys over here at the park. But of course, 
we'll still be sharing our reactions and all of that. But that's something for you guys to know. If any of you are vloggers, or even if you want to take photos around the park, I think it's just worth going up here first, signing that thing, and making sure that you are aware that even though, at the end of the day, they are on a little bit of on filming. As long as you sign up, they're all really, really nice to you and they will allow you to do exactly that. They take a photocopy of that. I've got a little sheet of paper. So if in any moment of the day, I do have to end the camera quickly. That would be why. But before I start back up again, we always have to respect the park rules and etc. So that's that. Just to let you guys know about that little update. But of course, now we're heading on our first ride, which has actually changed because we realised that the other ride doesn't open until 10 o'clock. Yeah, so some of them actually have a staggered opening, so I just correct you have a staggered opening. Um, and that's just 10 o'clock as you said, so we may just go around and do my movie and stuff like that. Yeah, so we're going to do a few little yeah. other rides, of course, it's the Caterpillar one that we really want to do later on today, it just looks like a really enjoyable attraction, but that one, like all of our rides are here, will get a very short queue, yeah. even when it gets on. I mean, look how many trains this guy, he just keeps on going, he just keeps on going, yeah. But, of course, our first ride of the day is going to be Mamu, did you just say? Uh, probably, I mean, we'll just go down there and see what there is, so I know yeah. that Bob's head down there as well, okay, let's get some more there. Which was actually the first time one of yeah, but it looks really empty here today. I, I mean, we're all going here. I mean, we had, we, had, we had like a hundred, no, 20 minute delay trying to find this thing. Yeah, so it's now 9.18. It's now 9.18, of course, we got in here at 9 o'clock. So it's not the end of the world at all because, well, it's empty, but it's got so many, I mean, like, even like we've seen there, it's just got such a nice charm towards this park. It's green, and it's bro. really big as well. Oh, yeah, I didn't remember when you come in, it feels like it's going to be a really, really small park, but all the way over there towards the distance, that is still part of this park today. So it's going to be awesome. All times that the rides open and close as well, it's on the signboard. So I need to check out and get in because some of them, like the rafting, for example, and I just like the log flume as well, close a little bit early on today yeah. and open a bit later. So that's why Adam's now going back again. So we're going around the park. Of course, we've never been here before, so you never really know what rides are open. And that's the thing when you first come along, you never really know. And of course, as I said earlier, we're going to share everything with you, whether it is the fact that you can film on certain rides or not, or whether it's the fact that rides close certain times, we didn't realise all of this will be shared with you guys so you don't make the same mistakes like now that we are making. Yeah. So, when we're in the park, we'll find our first ride, and of course, we'll take you on there when we do. We'll probably end up doing the cast for the to be honest. We will. Four laps, one rollback, and one crazy ride has just been completed. Yeah, that was one of the weirdest roller coaster experiences we've ever had. You've had some weird ones, and funny enough, lots of them on that sort of ride. Yeah, definitely. You know, like yeah. for a go gadget coaster at Disneyland California at the time, there's some of the sort of rides about. I mean, it's only a family coaster, but we actually went around three times, well, we went on once, yeah. and he said, I mean, it's like he didn't know how to use the brakes. So we went up, and he started using the brakes, and then we rolled back. Yeah, well, I mean, the wheel started to go up, so we started going up. And then suddenly, I think because the train was too heavy or something, it just went backwards. Yeah. So we technically got a rollback on that, so it's pretty cool. And it went into all sorts of brakes runs in the station as well, so yeah. you don't cure on the track backwards. Then, I don't remember, one more, yeah. one more, yeah. one more, one more, and we're like, oh god, it's going to go all day. And then right at the end was quite funny, because when the whole train got in the station, all the lap bars came up, but the back row, <laughs> he, got he, the... he didn't do it right, so the back row was still halfway up like that. <laughs> so then he had to push the button again, and the back row went into the actual station, and then the back row came up. Oh, I only knew up here if I should get back, but that's just that's the fun thing about them. It's, like, it's just all really unique, and of course it made it a little bit longer to get around the ride, but it's fun, it's enjoyable, and everyone on there were having a really, really good time. And that's what matters at the doesn't it? And you, yeah, it does. I think this park, out of all the parks we've been so far, really emphasised that whole family fun part of it. Whether you're going on these drop towers, which I'll show you in a bit, are a little bit unique, <laughs> or you're going on the log film with rapids or the or little you go coaster. Down the slide, which takes forever to get down. Is that the slide there? That's the slide. Oh, we'll do that later on. <laughs> yeah, it's just all really good fun rides over here. And I think they're all starting to open up now a little bit more. So our next ride is going to be, I need your help here. How's Ubercoff? Which is, is that the... That's the Vekoma Thrill uh, Suspended Oh, I've heard a lot of this one. That's the Vekoma Suspended Thrill 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 uh, Tater Park back in Ireland, which is quite near us actually. Yeah. It's actually going to be getting Close a to this similar part. to this. And also the Vekoma Boomerang as well underneath it. Um, but yeah, what's pretty cool about this coaster is, as I just said, it does actually have another little coaster under it as well, but they actually share supports. So some of the supports that I was in before <laughs> are also on the other coaster as well. I guess that makes sense, so in some sense. Pretty cool. But if it's all breaks, then both coasters are screwed. Well, yeah. So, I don't think about it, but no, it looks awesome. Again, this land looks like a newer land, is it? Yeah, I think it is. I think it was like 20... 1920 20 minutes. Yeah, but yeah, the final sort of vibe of the park has with a nice like German. Of course, people who aren't from Germany, I think it's probably a lot more better than if you are from Germany. Because we're like, we come to the parks to experience the culture, whether you see it or not. For us, going to these parks, like these local parks, we see the people this who we so don't fun. see at like Disneyland Paris, or we yeah. go around and see some like really nice cultured 
uh, like buildings like that. And this, I think this park offers to us really nice. That's why we like it so much. But I've got to say, this ride looks so smooth. It looks amazing, honestly. Like it the does. The on it, and even the drops. Look so yeah, our next track of the day is going to be this one. Well, this one here above me. I don't think I've ever been on such a smooth ride. The thing you came from the SLCs to this is just something I don't get. It's back crazy. both loops, those inversions, you aren't even feeling. Normally you feel like yeah, a whip, no. but no, from a back row where you would feel the most whip, and it just glides. It literally glides through, Mate. but the whole track is like a flow. It just flows around. Like you go through a loop like that, and it flows. Like the whole track has been designed specifically to make the most smooth, enjoyable, and all around fun fan experience there is. And I think for anyone looking for their first coaster, that goes upside down. This is a great first one. Of course, you are dangling the legs, which is a little bit thrilling, of course. But the overall smoothness of that ride, especially getting the middle, will be most tame. And I think, yeah, it is a little bit tame, but no doubt on my favourite rides that we've done. Oh, honestly, I so enjoyed that. That coaster is incredible. Like that, obviously, all the inversions are so smooth. And yeah, as you said, because we were towards the back of the train, it will be a little bit more shaky than you were uh, moving, of course, towards the front of the train. Yeah. However, uh, you know what? That was just so good. In my opinion, one of the best coasters in the world. Oh, our food. The food that you can find, mate. I'll see how it's easy. Thank you, Adam. Okay. <laughs> and like, I know a lot of people seem to think it's quite a tame coaster. And in my opinion, I don't think that at all. Yeah. I think it's it's, it's fairly pretty, yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. the first bit. The first bit, we were like, whoa. Yeah, and that first drop yeah. on the back, yeah, it's a pretty good air time. I just wanted to point out, usually on these suspended coasters, you don't really get much air time. Uh, the how Zuma Cop is completely different. Yeah. So much air time. And the inversions just feel so glidey. It does, oh, it's really, just so. Like, yeah, it yeah, I mean, I can't answer enough, it does look like a family ride and it's a great first anyway, but it also looks great for the full seekers too. It's one of those rides that I think are perfect in the middle and they're my favourite sort of rides, the ones that me and Adam could do and still have a really good fun one, but mum can do too and of course everyone in the family can do it. But one ride, there's another good family ride and also something a little bit unique about it, this train theme boomerang coaster which really does look an incredibly fun ride. <laughs> taking a ride on the train and again amazing package of coasters they are right over there now you've got one of them there you go and the train is the other one and you can actually see as well behind me they share the same support don't they adam they do yeah so both folder camp and also as well has uber Bob. they both say they both have shared the same support which is a really cool idea right? yeah i, I mean believe they bond together obviously and then yeah they, obviously yeah. the company tells us one but yeah. it works really well they're both amazingly smooth rides they're both thrilling and not at the same time and they're both fantastic additions towards this park. It blends into the land. Pirates of course, the yeah, part of the cabin, yeah. But even when like, you walk around this park, this is obviously the older part of the park, and that's clearly the newer part. But even when you walk around the newer part, you feel the same feeling as you do in this part. It's a little more modern, like brickwork and stuff, but of course, it hasn't weared as much. But it has that sort of nice, nice charm towards it. It's got some amazing feeling. I, mean, I can actually get one on the first coaster, but as you go to the end of the queue line, you're into like, a really nice looking building. I mean, even the cars itself, the flooring and the queues are just like oh, the same no. sort of stone bricks. Really, really nice queue on. So it's, yeah, yeah, it's just so well done. I know. Then, even that coast we just went on, it's just so smooth. And as you said, like it does actually have a little bit of air time as well. I mean, it's nothing special, but like it's just a really fun ride. And it just really works in this park. It's like a family park. Yeah, that okay. is a family part, but again, as you can tell right now, where we're going right now, most likely, has some thrill rides too, so... It does, Caracho. Caracho. so I think they're more like the family thrill rides, I'm going to say. Yeah, I'd say so. And we're now going to do the thrill thrill one. Yeah, so this one here is like the only one I'd say, which is like, not a family coach, it's complete thrill coach stuff. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it does look incredible though. However, they do have some other family attractions up there as well. They've got Man Moves, which is a wooden coaster. They do have like a bobsled as well. It just, they do have some nice rides over there, which are, of course are still for the family as well. But yeah, I definitely think Caracho is the main thrill coaster here. And what I just thought I want to point out as well quickly, Trips was not just a theme park, it was a wildlife park as well. It is, and so, a hotel resort as well. I know, it was a hotel. Yeah. yeah, so it's got like loads of cabins. Like if you've ever been to Disneyland Paris, they Pocket Ranch. It's a little bit like that. They've got loads of different tree houses oh, nice. and cabins. Yes, yeah. you could really do two days here. You could, yeah, like, I think you could, you could do probably, 
I'm not saying it's a half day park whatsoever, but if you're not a massive theme park goer, you do half a day here, half a day at the wildlife park if you want to. Yeah. Or you could obviously, well, I would personally go ahead and do one day each, I think. Yeah, It'd be I'd very do, nice to both. I'd probably do one day and a half here, but so I don't think the wildlife park is huge. However, it's still it's a really nice park actually. Yeah, you do, you, you do one and a half here, also you yeah. get, get time to enjoy the cabin as well. It's still rush a day early in and the morning. I'm pretty it's sure not. as well you can actually get a tram, like a little land train from here to, of course, the wildlife park. And you know, the wildlife park is actually more in the woods, it's like right in the woods that park, so. Yeah, it's really convenient. I think it's all like bears there. So there's got some pretty serious yes. animals as well. So <laughs> it's going to be pretty, pretty awesome if we do get something to go there in the future. I think if we do come back here, which looking at it right now, it's likely we will come back here. <laughs> I mean, we've had some amazing last few days in Germany. I think it makes me, if anything, want to come back even more. Oh, I so. love Germany, honestly. It's such a lovely country. And before this trip, we actually only went to Germany for a day and a half. But honestly, actually being here for like pretty much a week is incredible. Like, it's a lovely country. If you haven't been already, the theme parks here are just like, insane. Yeah, Every yeah. single park has something special and it's just amazing. Whether it is giant coasters or lovely little charming towns and or stuff. Theming. Yeah, exactly. Everything's got something really nice about it. But we're now going to the next coast of the day, making our way around the park. We literally, we've literally been down these parks like three or four times now, it feels like already. But can you around the park, going to the next attraction. I don't think we're going to get too long queues today. However, I still want to go on this one just because it does break down. Yeah, I do. I mean, this is the big one that I'd say to me. Well. Say yeah. This is like the main attraction. This is why I wanted to originally come here. Um, as you're just as amazing. And also as well, it's actually quite unique. Because obviously, go to our fancy coasters. Uh, aren't they common around the world? And there's only like 11 of them. So it's going to be quite nice to another one. Of course, our second one here. Exactly. So we're going there right now. We're going on the ride. Hopefully, it's got the same stuff as the other rides because it's been amazing so far. Yeah, it's like, and I think even with the right, yeah, there's the animal part there, I think. Yeah. 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 Um, part there. So even if it hasn't got the same like theme as the last one we did, well, it does have some really nice trees and landscapes. So yeah. I've heard this one here, for example. You're in the stuff most theme ride in the world, but as I just said, it's very, very pretty. So and you've it seems, got, it's yeah. either got really good theme or really pretty. So that's and the two things. And it seems like over there as well, it has a lot more grass space. Like you can pick these on the grass. Yeah. And, the nice thing about here is it doesn't feel like they force you to have food here. Like you can go and sit down, you can bring a picnic along with you if you want and to. As we all know, German food is the best. However, because we're in Germany, their food is incredible. So of course I think we're in Germany is going to get something here because it's insane. Exactly. So we're going to around right now to our next attraction and we'll see you there. A pure luck. <laughs> I think I've been on some crazy rides before, however that one is definitely even crazier. That reaction that we have just done has got so many wacky elements, the queue line, as the same as before, is very very well fitted. I love all the little features and of course the ride test vehicle will bring you in there a little bit, basically where you sit and test if you can fit on the ride or not, it's really really cool. I know, I'll show you one later, I've noticed something like that, but overall the attraction is very good fun, some yeah. unique elements, I wouldn't say, I would probably say it's the best ride here so oh, far. Yeah. But I, I did like the ones like that. Yeah, I did. And yeah. it's definitely a thrilling ride. It's definitely like the most hang time on it. It's pretty cool. I went in the middle, so it's a bit smooth in your ride, probably. Yeah. But no, it was just really, really enjoyable. I think we have not done for a tad long, guys, do you think? Yeah, I thought that as well, because it was quite a short ride. And also, as well, we always got to the mid course, it was going really, really slow. I mean, the thing is about it going slow is, is that even though you may not get as much air time or anything like that, the hang time is insane. Like that first bit um, where you, of course, you're up into the inversion, after, of course, that amazing top up with the air time. Um, that inversion, the hang time is just so smooth. And yet, even in the indoor section, the hang time in there as well is amazing. Yeah, there was actually one inversion there as well. But honestly, the launches yeah. on Gersauer coasters are insane. Know, yeah. They're just amazing. They're literally, you just hit back on your seat and like, honestly. I recommend as well for our first coaster. ride, you don't know what happens at the start of the ride. So yeah. if you haven't watched it already, don't watch it because we didn't know what happened. It's not like it's a crazy element. I don't get you like going straight, it's going to be something mad. But it is a little bit of a shock, let's just say that at least. So if you're going over here, experience that, it's really cool. But I love these queue lines. I pointed out earlier, but these queue lines, they're not expensive by any means. Just like wood planks or stone flooring and bushes. But it's just really nice. It's my favorite, like the whole like gravel floor when you get some place like that. It has a nice level theme towards it. And like the most things around here, of course, is very well done. But a little train track here, for example. Hey, that's pretty cool. These little touches. 
is what makes these part of the edge level. So it's, it's a little touches and then you can as well. Little touches where most parts go, that's the first thing I'm gonna lose if I have to yeah. cut something. It's, like it's those got, touches that make this vibrant yeah, and so make this face made. We've got to mention as well, well after have got Cup, which is the little junior goat stuff. We've got to mention as well that the train, the steam actually came out of the train oh, yeah, yeah. in the yeah. front and every time it left the station, oh. steam would then come out. It's just so cool. And even as well, like the testy on Caracho, that was also insane as well, because the front car on it and everything like that. It's just the extra effort they put into these parts, which just make them so nice. Yeah, I mean, like, they're not gonna look about and think that's, that's a person, but <laughs> what it is, it's just really nice. It's a really, really nice park. <laughs> just completed Mamu, is it Mamu? Yeah, Mamu. Mamu, and well, there's nobody else to talk to. We're not play area, as we are players, we were going to have so much fun, but of course, there's lots of children around, of course, we do not go in them. But earlier in the day, when there's no one here, before you know what, we're going to have a little adventure play, and of course, we're on the ride itself, and we weren't looking so much for our eyes, but this thing here, because this is it awesome. It was absolutely fun. So, we're going to rise and make our way around here. Of course, I don't want to fall over because I've got one hand on the camera. So, like, by the time like now, it's going to be a little bit different. So, I'm going to put it down quickly. And then I'm going to continue in an area where I'm not going to fall over because I'm going to go through here. It's just like I haven't actually cleaned it up for me, I said it's a bit of a shame. But making a way up here, of course, it is a very, very tough. There's no actual age limit on the sides because, as we always, we do not follow a park rules. So, if it ends up, we're not allowed to do it. We clearly don't, but there's also like interactive things, like there's like a little rope thing there, which I imagine you can use in the talking thing as well. But no, it's really, really good fun. But Adam, how did you find Mammut? Honestly, that ride is so much fun. We actually got the front row on that as well. And in my opinion, it's actually one of the better wooden coasters we've done. Yeah. Um, of course, it's not actually built by like a major manufacturer, as I said. Um, it's got the yeah. Koma trains. It do oh, Gertha trains. Gertha trains, that's right. Um, yeah, it's just a really fun ride. It's so smooth as well. It does have a bit of a bump like to it, but you know, yeah. besides oh. that, it's actually a really fun ride. It's really smooth. Yeah, it is. We'll get up here now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Imagine you're at any manufacturer. Do we continue on here? I'll go across that bridge. Yeah. Not about any manufacturer. We're going to be claustrophobic now. What? Oh, I can fall over. Of course, no very bad effect here, but in fact, it is a very, very smooth ride. The only thing I'm going to point out is that it is a little bit on the rougher end in terms of a car on the track, but actually, the layout is incredibly smooth. I mean, you know what I'm but because it's not made by the coma, it means the train doesn't properly fit. Not that it's dangerous or anything, but, but just that, I'm like this. But it's just that when you look over at it, it's the track is not completely designed for that car. So of course, if they made a car that's designed for that track, one of the smoothest coasters, no doubt, in the world. Whoa, God, I'm going to fall over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> there you go. It's crazy. It really is. Okay, well, there you go. We're going to play in this area for a little bit, and then we're going to do our next traction. But that has got a bit of a cool interview for a ride. For safety in Europe is a bit less, because on this little slide thing here, she literally goes straight into the ground. God, ah. The question is, can you get through all of this without touching the ropes? Bow, bow, bow. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> Rope pad. Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! Spinny one, whoa! Oh, wow. Playground review, 10 out of 10. That's an awesome playground. Of course, you get a chance to do it, take it on, because it's so unique, it's so fun, and like all the rides here, it is incredibly joint. And it's a little bit thrillful too. Right now, we're we'll continue our way around the rides and head on our next one, which is a bobstead coaster. I know it's like a wild mouse, but it's not. It's a little more unique than that. And yeah. what was this then? I think it's called Genta Cell or something. Yeah, it's the best little pronunciation we can do. Um, but yeah, yeah look at that, the theme around it. Yeah. I think as well, like, you would never have this back in, back in the UK, obviously. obviously well, I say UK, actually. This is very much like what Oak could on. It is, actually. It's no, pretty similar. Yeah, but the way it has, like, really low fences and some parts... Oh, yeah, in that sense, yeah, yeah. It's, like, insane. Like, you would never get this back home. However, I believe this was the first ever one of these, so it's going to be pretty fun to experience it. I know it's quite similar as well to Cobra at Portland's Park. Back in the UK, of course. And after that, we're going to do the bot, we're going to do the log swim because I haven't seen it yet, we've got the coolest boats ever. Yeah. Like, it's one of the coolest for log swim because we do pass it, that's awesome. But I mean, look at this feeling for it. It's like a German Amazing. little castle over here. It's so unique. And it's, as well. a fam it's like a family local park. That's what I really don't get. 
Our best parks in England is way worse than this theme-wise. It is, but the thing is, what I find quite funny is back at home, uh, I'd say our best parks for like these family-owned parks, of course it's like Drayton Manor, stuff like that. And out here, obviously, this is their family-owned park, so... Yeah, I guess, yeah. It really was on the world, like, even like that, you know, like that. A little Christmas nativity scene, it's like... A bit of a whole dimension you go down, yeah. It's just like the thing. Interesting is really cool, like, you're standing in this queue line, walking around all these scenes. I mean, lots of it as well, it's just like traditional Germans. I've probably here before, when, well, obviously here before a park was made, but it's like, it's more like a scrapyard or something. And they just thought, you know what, we'll take that, and put it on our queue lines, and it looks amazing. Like, all this feeling around this queue line, there's this one little wire my find. Unfortunately, it's not very long queue today, which you got there? Oh, there's just okay. you, you can go I just like a little photo point in the queue, that's Pretty cool, cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty exciting. Like, thought, you know what? Take a bit of bobs and get in a queue, but I doubt, honestly, it ever gets that the entire thing. But I'm not complaining about such an awesome thing queue. I just think you walk through. And we have just taken a trip into a medieval castle. In fact, the walk on queue plus the ride is not as bad as your normal wild mouse. Of course, it's got any, like twists and turns, but there's only like two of them. It's actually really good fun. Those airtime hills though, right behind me, that is the best part of the ride. The first one is great, the second one, you literally can't really see it. It's like really, really awesome. Lots of fun little twists and turns. The side of the car to itself, I think it isn't as good, but it's still, it's still really, really good fun. And one of those rides where I went into some serious long queues as the day gets on, or at least it gets busier in the summer days or something. But no, that's, that's a really good fun ride. I definitely recommend if you can't go to the park, giving that one a go. There's one which I've known even before I've known about all these big coasters around here. And that is this log thing right here. Now this is one of the coolest cars ever. And we haven't actually seen it go. We've never seen some cars on the lift hill. Or should I say bath on the lift hill. Huh? But if it doesn't go, it might be a waiting for us. You'd have a nose to be honest. It could just be uh, doing that. But I don't know. We'll definitely try to get on it today. Whether it is now or whether it is later, I don't know. Because if it is closed, we're going to do it now. But look at those views. No, it's sunny, nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's just I all... I want to go and take a photo of it. It's just like a little restaurant down there. The vineyard. Lovely vibe. And he stands here, there's a like, cool little waterfall effect as well. So, yeah, right, and he's going to do a whole waterfall out of that. Camera video really well, actually. Yeah, look at that. Like, right. what's the edge? You're going to jump in? You're going to do it? You're going to do it? Jump in? Jump, jump off. Jump off. Whoa. Ah, it's not real. <laughs> yeah, they're quite funny. I don't think it could be there forever, but it's really good fun. I said this log flume that we're going to head on right now. So if it's open, we'll see you on the log flume. Well, when we get off, we can't film. Or maybe not. As a closer inspect, it looks like that's closed. So instead, now we've done all the big rides we want to do today. We're going to take a look around the park because there's so many other little rides we haven't done yet. There's so many areas which you haven't even explored. So right now, get around here, do some photos, have a look around. But that log flume does, in fact, open at 11.30. So it's one of the later opening rides that hit the park. Probably because I'll probably go and go on it until because they'll be bright from the day because right now it's raining, so kind of makes sense. But yeah, I look forward to getting there at 11 30, so we'll make sure we get over to the area a little bit later on. But honestly, I can't say enough how lovely this park is. Walking around here, seeing all the different areas like that, you've got the you know, little bridges there. You don't need that, you don't need that at all. But it just adds to the scene of the lake and the bridges like that. It's really nice. Oh, I see this park, just amazing, right? I don't think we ever expected it for it to be this nice. I mean, I knew it would be nice, and I was telling you the car earlier. I was saying, like, this could be like a threat of Summerland, of course, in Denmark, which is the park I'd say I most compare it to. It is a little bit different, of course, like they don't focus on like the forest or whatever, but it just feels like a very family fun park. It's, just, it's incredible. And I'm putting my phone out in the other pocket, so it'll start for one reason. Because right now, we're going to the bridge, and we love all these bridges. So we have. Ready? Yeah, some of the Wait best. Wait for them to get off so we can run really fast, see? Eh? If you're ready for it, you're going to see some pretty cool running. You know what? See in like parts of the Caribbean, and you get your friends as well because I'm not going to put us in the bag. There's in parts of the Caribbean where Jasper runs, basically like that. Okay, here we go. And, oh, whoa, it's really wobbly. It's really, it's a really wobbly bridge. Whoa, whoa, jeez. God, if there's no stabilization on that, 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 is, that is crazy. And next up, we're going to take flight just round the corner on one of those fire machines. If you want to do something a little bit cool about it, amongst, of course, the amazing queue line, you can actually get your score recorded. But yeah, I think this queue line has got us of all little feet in it. And unfortunately, as always, it is a walk on, or fortunately, you can look at it as. But yeah, here you go, look at this. Ooh.
Some of us actually went into the sky and others didn't. We sat in her ride and of course in a foreign country, I'm not the greatest being German. I mean, I know one word now and I've learned that across the last few days, which is dank for thanks. So yeah. I'm not the most German fluent person. So we sat in the ride, I put my bag down, but I didn't know where to put it. It was like, I thought we put it in front of you, but I didn't know where to put it. So I just put it to the side. I mean, I look back, the are down for everyone. And <laughs> like, I was like- I got on there, I guess, but- Yeah, and I, was, and I was like, don't want to be awkward yeah. and turn around and go, oh, look at there, it's in my pocket. <laughs> I don't want to be awkward and turn around and go, oh, you must want to shop now. I don't want to be awkward and turn around and go, oh, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not going to do that ride because of the whole restraint thing and like that. But I decided I'll just go off a little bit, come back in, and then later on, return to that ride and do it again. But Adam did do that ride, and I'm looking in the shop at the parts. And Adam, how was that ride? Um, it was actually quite good fun. I mean, it wasn't like amazing, like, but it was it was good. And the views were quite nice as well, but it didn't really spin. I couldn't really get it going, so I didn't even have one foot, to be honest. No, I'm not looking in the shop, I'm seeing these. Fuck, 100 first year. <laughs> but, yeah. I know, I've done them before, I've done them before. We all actually have to get a day. The queue line was really well fit. I really thoroughly enjoyed going in the queue line for that attraction because some really nice little features there. And I imagine if it was a 45 minute queue, I mean, the ride's not worth four minutes, but it's always nice to wait in a nice thing queue line. And I see now we've got a lot of ways at this park. So, I do even got a purchase there, do we, Adam? I don't know, they are really expensive, but I do really want the Caracho one. Which one, really the big really one? I think it's the big one, yeah. But I'm not sure. Like, I, think, I think that's the big one, the one at bottom. Yeah, one at bottom, right. But yeah, I'm not sure, because it is a really cool coaster and I'd love to have it. It was hundred photos, wasn't it? It was, but like, I don't know if it's too expensive or not. Well, you can get a yo-yo instead. <laughs> Just as I mean, right? or, or, I mean it, it, it's as cool as the wheel itself. <laughs> so, I'm going to get some chance to watch some t-shirts. Yeah, the merchandise here. Now, what is unusual is in these German parks is you can buy ashtrays, which you obviously can't buy in any UK parks. Yeah, because you can't advertise them in the UK. But yeah. When you go around the top, there's really cool stuff, and I don't. I mean, it's better than Fantasia Land, and that's a big, bigger one in Europe than here. Yeah, it's, it's far better. Like the merchandise here is really well themed. You've got one for every coaster, pretty much every major standout ride. So this is really cool. And of course, you've got your classic stuff as well. And there's even like a little wine cellar, a little one there, but a wine cellar in the main <laughs> shop. So there's some pretty unique stuff and pretty awesome stuff as well to check out and see. But we'll take you around all the shops at the end of the day to give you a full tour of that. But I just thought what we saw is wider because Adam is still looking at right now. We'll go and show you that and then head to the next track. And I think right now, because the water goes open at half, well, the water goes, the water that's logged through sort of thing, opens at around half 11, it's currently quarter past. So we'll do a few like, little slides and plays like that. And then after that, we'll then head over towards the log room to do that and then get some lunch because I get a little bit hungry around this time. And that little slide has turned into a little flat ride. We're not doing these drop towers. We're a little bit of a twist, but Dad hasn't seen it yet, so we're going to get him on there before he doesn't notice what happens on this very unique drop tower style ride. I've been on 400 foot drop towers. I've been to some of the biggest coasters in the entire world, but never have I ever been so scared when on that drop tower over there. Going on that, I felt really unsafe at first because I thought like, the strain wasn't very like locked on, but I thought it would be a bit more locked on than it was. So when we were going up and down, I knew it was going to twist, tilt forward, which I think I showed you already, so I don't want to say it's a spoiler because it's already been spoiled for you most likely. But I was going up and down and the whole time I was so scared I was going to fall out when it was going to twist this forward that I was literally putting myself the entire way around the ride. And yes, it did tip forward. It wasn't as bad as I expected it was going to be. So when I got on it again, I was going to be so petrified, but I generally thought I was going to fall out on that. So, yeah. Very scary ride. I think if you don't know what happens, my like dad didn't know what happened. I think it wouldn't be so bad because you, you wouldn't expect it to come. But when you know it's going to tip forward and you're on it and you don't feel secure, that's a pretty scary ride. So to go over my scare of that, we're now going to go on back onto, and I've got to try and plan myself now, like Hans Uverkopf or something, which is, of course, is this really fun uh, suspended coaster just down here. So we're going to be back on that one right now. I mean, it's all walk on queue, so we feel like we might as well do it while we get a chance because as it is with Holiday Park, yes, today is a day when I got a little bit busier and it's the same as part two. The day's been getting on a little bit, the park's been getting a little bit busier and the last thing we want to do is only have one bar in this today. So we're going to go around this queue line again. I shouldn't let this feed bit in a sec. It's so, it's so, like, look at it, it's so well fit. It's just, I mean, this is like a little restaurant and I thought I think it's one of those feeding towards like a little, yeah, a restaurant, but it'd be cool if we, I don't know, would it be cool if we can buy something? No, I don't know, but yeah, we're going to front row for this one, just down here, so we get a front row and a back row experience, but yeah, loving the feeling, loving the vibes, and to be frankly honest, I'm loving the park too.
Round number two, front row again. <laughs> Only in Germany can you actually stand in an entire coat enclosure. How cool is this? Hello there. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, it's adorable. It's eating my thing. Hey, <laughs> When I said earlier that it's those European touches that makes parts of me, that's what I'm talking about. You literally go to an enclosure full of goats and at home, normally you don't do that sort of thing. And they're just running around, they were jumping up someone and they were just they were crazy. When it started raining, they went in actually, because they're like most people. When it rains, they go. We do, and yeah. that's what that is, but again, it's a really nice experience. It's kind of walk in, you just it's actually a joy when you're out just in all the rides. That's what parks I think normally lack at, especially like in the Americas or in the States or in the UK. We don't have anything else to do when it's not the ride, and it's just like ride, 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 ride. But when you've got like an hour plus queues for each one, you just don't want to do rides. Whereas today already we've been in an amazing playground, we've been across wobbly bridges, we've been petted goats, and I mean, there's that sort of touches that make the parks what they are. And another touch that makes parks what they are, especially here in Germany, is food. And I think this is all going to be having our food today because we're looking around and we thought, you know what? We're going to have some classic burger and chips. I think Adam might go for bratwurst because he's a big fan of those ones, aren't you? Well, the food. I mean, it's not far of a park, but you had a lovely one. Oh, it was so good, honestly. Like, that food is incredible. I mean, to be honest, anywhere in Germany, the food is just ridiculous. I mean, it just makes you want to eat at the park as well, because it's quite, like, it's not reasonably priced as well. I believe it was about... Eight, eight euros maybe? So it wasn't too bad in price and yeah, it was really good actually. Yeah, me and Dad got a veggie burger. <laughs> I mean, for starters, I want to make it clear, of course, that it's everyone's choice. If you were to be vegetarian, you should be vegetarian. If you don't, you don't. But for me, the meat that you get with a vegetarian version of the meats aren't the greatest. So we finished not a lot of it. <laughs> and we're still hungry now, but yeah, that aside, yeah. it's not, not where Park's fault. Of course, I think they warned us in German, but we didn't really understand. So we went away, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we thought we were saying, do you want a drink of it? Not, do you want to? So even though we're cooking it, they were looking at us like, yeah. Oh. But yeah, anyway. No. I do have another issue with this part. There's, there's, there's only one issue with this part. We tried to the toilet to wash my hands. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's right. an issue. So, you can't see it now anymore. But I always washed my hands with some soap, and I was thinking, right, obviously, there's going to be water in it, because in every bathroom there's always water, right? Well, there wasn't. So, I've just been to wipe my hands like this the whole time, because there's soap wipe my hands. However, luckily, we're now going to be doing the log flip, which hopefully, obviously, yeah. Yeah, I know that's stupid, but next, we need to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down and get a picture of anything on the toilet in the inside. Yeah. Anyway, the only weird way possible, of course, insane. no one's going to be in there when I do it. They are so well themed. I have yeah. never, I've never in my life seen such themed it's toilets. It's like the ones that, like, if you ever been to Fantasyland, you've seen Cook Farm or Rooks. I mean, better, you've got, like, one, 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 you got like a train station where you're just sitting in like a train cabin, you've got yeah, the barn there, you've got like doors, right? horse doors, obviously the whole way up. <laughs> I mean, a bit awkward. And no water. And of course, no water, no water. And you, it's just, every single one's so well themed. Like, I'm, I'm actually, yeah. I'm actually looking forward to going to the toilets. I oh, know, it's literally there. I mean, we're probably going everywhere, just simply. Yeah, and here and I can have a theming. Here we go, towards the awesomest looking knock food bites. We've heard so much, Bob. I know, yeah. This right here, I've been for years and years in Ed, and I'm so excited so to crazy. finally get on one of those baths and take it home. Which is absolutely crazy. I mean, how cool is it's that? It's the weirdest ride, this. It's just completely strange. It's like, it's so unexpected, the hot ride. I mean, obviously, if you know what happens, you can't expect what happens. Like, if you don't know what happened, keep your eyes surprised. I don't know. But yeah, it's gonna give you good fun. I'm gonna go around now. I'm gonna go to the bathtub. <laughs> Got real saying that. So normally after water ride, you have to stay well, go under one of those paid heater things. But over here, you just use the normal bathroom ones and above your head. I don't think it's working. That one is. You just stand underneath it. You can dry yourself off. Oh, nice idea. Yeah. Good idea. I mean, of course, I don't have money for it, but it's very, very good. And a very weird water attraction, I may say at least. So, we'll tell you about that after we get out of the shop. Now, to talk about everything that that log flume held is something that's going to take us a very, very long time. But on the one hand, it's got some amazing theming, and it really is an awesome log flume experience. It's got three drops, one of which, spoiler alert, also goes backwards, as well as it's on a really awesome boat. 
However, it's a little route halfway around, and of course, yeah, I think you guys know what I mean. It's a European sort of route, sort of thing when you appeared, you would be any Swedish one thinking anything different about it. But of course, from, from Britain over the US, it's going to be different. Yeah, that's the thing. So just, so just be aware of that if you're going with kids or whatever. But nothing too rude, I'm not going to say anything like massively, but yeah, just be aware of that before going on. Plus, there's drop of steam. <laughs> really, really serious. Yeah. Adam was at the far at the back, and I in front of the way or what? But yeah, no, I sat at the front of the. No, I sat at the back of the front. Sorry, um, and obviously I was just holding onto the side bars, and then obviously I've got the little things which connect to the side of the bike, and I wasn't. My hands weren't actually near one of them, so we went down the drop. I didn't realise, but I slid forwards. Yeah, I bashed my hand on one side of them, but it was good fun though. It was a really good ride. Really good. Cool. I, I love, I love the ride. We have this part of rapids. It does have rapids. Yeah. Oh, it, does. it does a rapid, huh? I think that's a rapid. That's nothing we have to do, yeah. We're doing too, but yeah. I forgot about it. No, we've been passing it, but I think it's done there. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it's probably part four rapids, and it does. <laughs> there you go. Well, we're going to do rapids in a bit, but I think first, while we're over here, you might as well do it. That's the thing, it's all parks. When you go to ride, it's not like some parks where you're like, I've planned when to do it here. It's like, if you pass it, you do it. And these are like the mega coasters and the mega rides, and just to where to walk over. It's a really nice fit. If anyone who does, I know, doesn't like waiting in long queues or something, Having rides like this, you can just walk up, and of course, they do have closing times, so be aware you can't always walk up to them. That's yeah. what I was hoping. Yeah, and yeah. that's why we're trying to focus around this side as well at the moment because we know this side shuts a little early. Honestly, yeah, so what does the park cost today? Uh, I think it's six o'clock, I think. No, that's not bad. I mean, it opens at nine, so it gives you a decent amount of time. That's yeah, the seven thing. Seven hours. I mean, in the UK park, yeah. you can't get six hours. Yeah, normally. It's normally so, 10 to 6 or 10 to 5 in the UK, so. Four yeah, okay, Cage knew on a five gets into four, but. Oh, no, it's more then. No, it's three. No, it's more. No, it's nine hours then. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But we still. I don't know what time it is now. Let's have a look. What time is it now, do you know? I don't know. It's like 12 30. It's alright, so we've still got like a decent amount of time left because there's so many more rides and attractions. And first off, we've got this one right here. Well, that was Mammoth, and we had two Mammoths right on that. Nah, I don't know why I did it. That ride was very, very good fun. Again, the only thing with it is that train, it's so just smooth ride, yeah. it's just the train. Now it just going, bounces from that. I really, really just designed a special design train for when they're in the coast too, because it was oh, yeah. so smooth, it's so enjoyable, and I think it could be a little bit faster at times than they make it feel. But this one's really steep, but if they can make it a bit more faster, I'd add to the experience too. So, there are only two things about it, but overall, it's a really good ride again, and one of those rides, like all of them over here, where they are for thrill seekers, but the whole family can enjoy it as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm it's just a really fun ride. Like, the front row is good, the back row is good. I think also I do prefer the front though. I feel like it's a little bit smoother. Yeah, yeah, I do agree. Yeah, we're in both ends of the ride. We know, of course, the middle's never the best. The middle's the, middle's the worst than I want, unless, yeah. of course, you're scared of it. And quickly in here, we've got all some rides here. Hey, it's so cool. I love it. I, mean, I believe the headlights turn in as well when you put the train down. I mean, of course, we've got to do that later, but I believe that does happen. Very, very cool. So, right now, we'll continue our way around. We're going to be heading on to this ride again right now. I've got the name of it. Coracho. Coracho. And normally, the side of the people walking out of the queue is just a long queue line. So, depending yeah. on how long the queue is, we'll do it or not. But of course, it is running on a few trains today, and the ride has got a self operation. So, yes. we're basically going to go through it. We most likely end up doing it, but just be warned that there's a chance that we may turn back. Second ride on Cratchit has now been completed, and this time we actually did the front row queue because we thought you really might as well mix it up. And actually, the front row experience is a lot better on the ride itself. It's a lot more thrilling, you get the wind in your face, and in this instance, the rain in your face. But also the queue line for it, you actually put some really awesome stuff. So we actually put like a model of the ride itself. We're going in the shop, we don't know. We put like a model of the ride itself. And then like a little chair swing of ride as well over here at the park. We then got on the ride. There's not much difference actually as well, because everyone thinks that the front row queue, you know, like normally front row you have like front row and all the other queue, all the other rows and the other queue. So everyone know everyone goes in the other queue thinking that it's gonna be longer front row queue, but it's actually the same amount of time because there's only two rows on the train. So we actually got through there quite quickly. Yeah, it was good right though. And then after that, we then basically got on it, enjoyed the experience, of course it was raining and that's why we're kind of in the shop and not outside and then we got off but this is what we're doing now, the plan is, is that right now we are going to be actually walking around the shop itself seeing what the shops have to offer because we thought we're going to do a rapid, we still haven't done that one plus we also want to go to the car to grab some bits and bobs so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to the 
shops, showing what the shops have to offer, like this one over here. It's quite a few actually, and it all sells different things. Maybe the rest of the car, then returns to the rapids and a little more filming as we get near the end of the day. It's been a maiden day so far, and it's only continuing. Change of plan, after a quick walk around, we saw these bikes. We've got no idea what they are, how they work, or where you can even go, but they look good fun, and I guess they're completely free, so we got the down board and see how it works. That's so weird, like literally like a little bike yeah. area. How <laughs> old is that? Can I go? <laughs> oh, you did well. Those back there are the most stupid adventures ever known to mankind. Now, I love cycling, I do quite a lot at home. But seriously, those bikes make no sense whatsoever. We're literally standing on them, and we're sitting on them, and as they go around, they bounce, but they kind of go to the side, the wheels aren't straight. It's just silly. It's really, really silly. I mean, it's good fun and stuff when you get a hang of it, but to be honest, it's just a bit crazy. So, that's the bike, still raining, guys, so I'm going to put my thing away. But I love how in these, not them, I'll pass, and these like German and you can just, just sit next to the water where the ride is and not a fence. It's really nice actually how we do that. Okay, trust you, you're not going to be an idiot. And some people don't be an idiot. Nevertheless, how's the bikes, Adam? Um, it was quite good fun to be honest. I've looked at it, it was actually quite a unique attraction. Obviously, I don't know any other park in the world where you can find that. Um, and they work hard Thorpe to do it. Park. They used to have a thought park called Bronco Bikes. And yeah. they, they went in the early 90s, I think. Yeah, you can park. see why. But it's a big attraction at all, Mark. It's fine. <laughs> it's so silly, honestly. Continuing our adventure around, we just go through this little building and we'll make our way through it. It's a little bit creepy, it's like a history one. Yeah, look. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so it's like a, I don't know if it's a children's thing or. Oh, hello. Yeah, I don't get this. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 Don't sound like a baby. <laughs> well, there is no question that this park is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. Some things are so weird, but I'm not even going to put them onto the vlog itself because I have to take a few boxes saying, like, with the adverts. So I'm not even going to put some of the things that I've seen on this video on the actual video itself because of how odd they are. However, it is definitely a unique park, and I would definitely. Take forward every door with warning, let's just say that at least, because it's a little odd. There's a little odd yeah. thing there. I, mean, I would do everything, but it's, yeah, it's a strange part. Yeah, and look, I'm going to get the next one, which is, it's like, oh I don't know if it's going to be like an interactive thing or it's just going to be like a museum. I think it's more museum. Oh no, it's a shop. Yeah. I can remember this is a bit Let's have a look. As a heads up, that person was a real person, so be aware of that when going into some of them. Some of them are not some of them are, so just don't walk in and start screaming because some of them are real. Yeah. And that was basically a wine museum which you could pay like £1 to get to. Yeah. But yeah, we're now in the shops and we're having a little look around here. As I said earlier, we've got a little bit of a detour, but we're back on route now with the shops. So we'll have a look around here, show you some more bits and balls. This is one we went into earlier, actually, in the little cliff inside of. But we'll look around here, see what we have to offer. And I think I've got one thing I want to buy. I want to buy, as I said, a rubber ducky because I brought one from over at Euro Park. So I'm going to buy one from here as well. A little collection when I go over towards Europe, a rubber ducky collection. Mm. 
Now you may be wondering, Tom, what did you buy in this shop? I bought rubber ducky. Now why did I rubber ducky? Also, not only because of your own part thing, but also because I've got rubber ducky races right here. So we'll put him in here and we'll watch him go. Oh, this is really anti climbing Oh, here he goes, he's going down. He's following it down, we're gonna go. Whoa, he's mad, he's getting a crazy speed down here. Look at him, there he goes. He's going down, he's just having a bit of a rocky day. Normally he races, but I'm a little too, I don't know, I seem so young. I'm a little too bored. Yeah, that's him gone. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, that's him gone. Oh. There he is. Oh, he's gone. There he is. I might pick him up before he gets stuck back under. There we go. He won. There you go. Good job. And so we continue our adventure now with a fun house. Now, I don't know how big a fun house is, but it's got the wobbly platforms and it's going fast. It's going. Here you go. Fall over. Oh, there you go. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, and of course it continues down here with one of our favourite slide things. This is really good fun. God, it's raining, so it's going really fast. Oh, God, God, God. God. Probably still one hand. I don't know if she's going to do with a camera hand, but hey oh, You only live life once. Oh! Oh, oh no, that's actually here. Oh, this camera is a cool point video probably. <laughs> okay, there you go. Sat back in the car now, got my duckies together, and having some bread. <laughs> Lovely. Now for the entire day today, we've been looking at this wing mirror and going, not wing mirror, <laughs> windmill, and going, oh, we can go up and go that slide. Yeah. And we haven't really realised what it was until that point now, this weird little restaurant thing, and just behind it, because he's very, very small stairs, up to all, and up towards this slide. And of course, we're going to make our way up now. We're currently actually inside of Willow itself, ready to go and take on this adventure. So, I will we'll try bringing you along down the side, well, if I can. And yeah, you're up top now. Got to go down the side. Yeah, I know. Ironically, the queue for the slide was actually longer than half a ride that we've done over here today. We've been around three or four times. It had a really long queue, and that really shows that you don't just need to have rides over at a feed park, but some really fun fan activities that are actually really cheap. And I think that actually the windmill itself is actually an old windmill. Yeah, I think it is. But the slide wasn't the old windmill, not windmills in the moon. Oh, yeah, so it wouldn't it, work. But the stairs were like really, they felt really old anyway. And, you know, it's actually a really good slide though. It's just really good fun. And, no, I've got to say. Towards the end, if actually push yourself off, you get a bit of speed down there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we, we we learned tactics. We pushed it off. We had a good time. And overall, had about three rides now. It's really enjoyable. Still, still don't get half this up here. I mean, it just, like it just appears. Oh, yeah, it appears every like uh, every half an hour. I mean, it's like a little show. I mean, it's cheap and it's fun. It's a bit like a carousel folks at Disney, but yeah, but that's that. That was the slide. But now we're going to show off the rapids we want to do a while, but because we've been at close to four, in fact. So we want to go on the rapids, then we want to do the water ride, and then from then on, we're then going to go ahead and then go and do some bit of filming. We're going to take us around, like, no, well, I think it's around actually four, half four ish. And then for the last hour or two of the day we're going to do our favourite rides as well as a few other little ones along the way so that, that's the plan for the rest of today but it's been amazing I've loved it all to bits and I think we're going to follow the people over okay. the lovely bridge and into the rapids There is no staff here you literally just climb the boat yourself and off you go have now been completed as you can most likely tell it's pretty wet plus the rain on top of that but as you drain so right now we're making our way to our next attraction i think we've got to go row one that we can do row two row two row two we're gonna go here you go <laughs> Go on, go quiet, you gotta, you gotta risk it, you gotta risk it, you gotta risk it. Yeah, he's risked it. Rapids and coaster has been completed in the rain. So what's left, Adam? A log flume. A log flume, yeah. 
let's go on tour. Well, one of my favourite logs from this to say at least. It's very fun, very enjoyable. And now, not only do you wear it for the waves, but, well, the rain too. And that drop is so steep. It is very steep. I'm very looking forward to that drop. Log flume has just been completed and it, as you can probably tell, it has only got us wet. So the bath is wet, the log flume is soaking and again, the rain doesn't help either. But it's a good fun ride, the log flume ride. It's quite thrilling, good drop and the theme again is questionable. I mean, I, I can't film it, but even if I could, I wouldn't put it in. So. No, it's, it's very strange, but you know. Yeah, I think you'll see for yourself. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. As it's I said, the, what the standards in Europe, points to US and here, and US and UK is very different, so you can over here be aware of that. But no, good fun log flume ride. We're making our way now to the next ride. I don't want to keep the camera in the way for too long, but it's actually one of the log flume ride there. This is going to be. It's like gentle, gentle, so hard to ride. Oh, we're getting wet today. But the fun never ends. As next up, we're heading over towards Mammut, which is just through here. I'm filming only indoors now because the rain has got so bad, I'm feeling a bit like. I can't get the camera out in this because I was just going to break the camera and trust me, as I said earlier, that has happened before. Hit you into now, so I'm just going to nip down like this. Yeah, but yeah, it's happened before. But it's rainy and we're heading to the next ride, Mamu. Our next up, Karachi. Yeah, here we go. I think our fourth time today, but still as good as the last. So we're only in the rain. And there you go from our final ride upon that attraction. And it is really, really good fun. I think we did it, right. we did it twice, yeah, we did it twice. One's in the front, one's in the back. They were both as good as the other. At the end, it wasn't raining so much, so we did actually get to enjoy while the eyes open, kind of close it the whole time. But yeah, good fun family ride. It's definitely a family thrill. I, I would say family thrill compared to some rides we've done. Everyone else would clarify as thrill, but for me, I feel like those sort of rides is a still, a, a still thrilling, and for most places, it will be thrilling, but. If you compare it to the top of the top, which I'll clarify as thrill, thrill, mega thrill level, I think it is in the family thriller head, if you get what I'm saying here. But no, that's a good ride. We really did it. We've done it enough times now, we think, to get that done. So we've done so much that whole area around there. So we're going to be going instead over towards the plains, doing that one quickly, and then we'll make our way towards the train and go area. Or we'll then finish off around that area around there. It's currently around, I don't know, half past. So still like an hour and a half left, actually, till our day. But we're going to towards the plains right now. Possibly even more incredible toilet than we had in the mind. It's under a little bit more now, so I'm putting the camera away. Quick visit into the shop and now making our way up to the slide for one last time. We did our last times for everything right now. But yes, this is the last time we're going to walk up these very, very annoying stairs. That are so thin, it's just. But it's gonna be fun. Let's go up these stairs. Get tired now, and I'm just gonna go down. Literally, he's ready to go. Off he goes. Oh, it's red now. Didn't even go. There you go. Ready? Do not worry, we will not be going back on there. However, after the aside, we are making our way round towards both the boomerang and the suspended coaster just down there. So, there are the last rides we're planning to do today. Of course, how many rides we don't know? It's currently around half past, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's about 35 past now. Yeah. So, probably don't mind those two rides on each I imagine it'll end up being. But, yeah. it's been an amazing day. I mean, these are like the final bonus rides. So, you don't need to squeeze in the video. I mean, I'm, we've done tons. All we have, we, we so are, we can't even can we've done rides wise. Of course, we'll check your vlog when it's done because in these vlogs, as always, I give you the exact number of rides to whether we film a clip for every single one or we just say, been on that twice. Yeah, so, but it's always the exact number. It's always the exact number. So yeah, no, I did just do two on the slides, so yeah. So you just did another one. So you did two, we just did one. So there you go. His numbers are different. So we watch this back later on. I can go, ah, I had done that, done that, done that. And also he did one when I went to the toilet earlier as well. Damn it. So that's not my way down to the last one. Of course, love you, Rafa. I didn't know for the last one. The last one that was pretty cool. And of course, train scene, all this feeling is absolutely amazing. In the seats, you're like a train. So I go around. Jump aboard the train and choo choo, and off we go on the clickety clackety rails. <laughs> if 
Fellow well, train to a suspended coaster for our last possibly ride of the day. We have got this one over here. Hands do look on the corner, but it's definitely not that. Love the queue line still, still amazing. I don't know if I'm in the front or not. I'll just have a look. I know he's on to the back. There he is. Let's go through. Hello. And for our final ride of the day, after doing like six or seven rides on that one there, we are now going on the train. It's been amazing, but yeah, for the race case, obviously soaking. Well, there you go for my day over at Trips Joy. It has been absolutely fantastic. Wet, but fantastic. We've done so many rides and attractions. It's been amazing to explore the area and everything it has to offer. And now leaving, you can really realize how good of a day it has been. We actually ended with a town where you got a lovely bread from and still eating our bread from we were ages ago. <laughs> yeah. But how have you had your day over at Trip Trail? Honestly, when I went into Trip Trail, I thought it was going to be a great park. And I was saying to all you guys that, in my opinion, the park I'd mostly compare it to off videos and footage and stuff like that is Ferrop Summerland in Denmark. I went to after going in, it is actually quite different from Ferrop Summerland, but honestly, that park is amazing. From like the theming to the attractions to even like, I don't know, the, the little details are all honestly just amazing and it's just so much fun i think that's the one thing i'd really take away from this park fun. it's a family day out and it's just fun like with obviously your own park don't get me wrong it's amazing it's amazing fun but you don't get like the same feeling as you do at trip Shaw. but yeah obviously along with that you also get all the coasters as well i've got to say caracho is amazing i love that coaster and also as well how's ubercoff was very like, underrated and i honestly love that coaster but yeah everything else was really smooth it just worked in with the park and also as well, it did have some very funny moments there as well. Yeah, okay, great park. Yeah, that's the thing, that's the thing about, about park as well, is that actually, when you were on rides like how we got near the end of the day, we just sat on it the whole event. Yeah, and they didn't, mind about, well. they didn't mind, they were good about yeah. it. I mean, the one thing I would say as well, is me and Tom, I don't think we talked about them there, but these people, obviously the German people, actually came up, and they purposely didn't go on the back row because they knew we were there. Yeah. I've, just got, I've just got to say that. And we, we, so we've already enough. been around like that. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, we, yeah. well, we, we, we would do it here because we understand, we, we understand how it's nice yeah. to be and nice. We'd we do that back at home. But like, we like, never see anyone else do it. I mean, no. it's one of those things where we've already had a ride on the back, so they deserve to ride on the back. Yeah. But they thought, you know what, there's empty seats, we're moving. And I remember once, actually, when we went on the wooden coaster, there was this yeah. family who were right in front of us. And they went, you know what? We're going to actually move to the front of the train because we're foreign and we're going to start to do it. Which is really nice. nice. Again, I mean, even though like we may visit more than them, we don't know that they obviously may visit more than us. Because they live in Germany, they just thought that we're abroad, obviously. So we are maybe not going to be able to come here as much. So it was just really nice to, for them to just to say, you know, you can go on it. And honestly, I really appreciate it. And in my opinion, Germans are some of the nicest people. I've yeah, ever and then when you mix up with amazing atmosphere, cleanliness, and the stunning nature of that park. Great merchandise. It, and great merchandise, yes, we've definitely all bought a little bit. Whether it is just a rubber ducky, or whether it is like 10 post goes for a euro. euro. <laughs> we've yeah. had a phenomenal time. I mean, you got like 20 quid worth of maps. But it's been amazing, honestly. It's been a great trip over towards Trip Still. Have you guys enjoyed it? Really good. Lovely day. Really. Thank you. A bit wet this afternoon, but it was a really good park. Immaculate, absolutely immaculate. Yeah, it has been. Really it has been absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> and the wine was good. Ah, yes, and we've got some trips to a wine as well. Well, my mum's, because the rest I don't drink. <laughs> that is it from us over here on Bean Park Coasting. It has been an amazing time. I have loved this a bit and I would highly recommend a visit over towards Tripsdale. You can mix up with a Euro Park visit, like in Deutschland, as we're heading right now actually, over towards like in Deutschland, or anything you want, but it has been fantastic. So that is it for me, Tom Derek, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.